Welcome back, everybody, to Xeno Gear. So last time we saved Margie from Bledovic. Now we need to get her home to Neeson, where she will be protected. But first, let's go ahead and speak with Sigurd and get on our way. Young master, according to the Mar uh, according to Margie, there's quite a troublemaker in Gebler. Yeah, so who the heck is he? Charon Ramses, the Holy Solaris, uh, Solaris Empire's Special Foreign Affairs Agency. In other words, he's the Commander-in-Chief of Gebler. It seems that Gebler isn't just after the excavation sites around Avea after all. You mean they're not after the Jasper? If that's their only goal, they wouldn't need to send an important man like him. Young Master, this could become unexpectedly complicated. Doc hasn't come back yet, has he? Hugh, I, I mean, Doc. No need to worry about him. He'll join us soon. Hmm, we He's almost dead. had a little bit of a flub there. Hmm, that's not good. So we shall have to enter into Nissan through the secret road. Let's keep a lookout for a lone tree in the desert as a sign of where the road lies buried. Shall we launch the Yggdrasil? Go yes, ahead. Yes, we shall. Why not? Because this is going to be amazing. Again, I love this this main map music. This is amazing. And it never gets changed, so that's even better. What's really funny, too, is like if you consider all the square, the square soft um, RPGs around that time that came out for the PlayStation, all of them ha actually had varying world themes that cha main world themes that changed. So here he said, look for a, a lone tree, and then all you got to do is do Road to Neeson. Meanwhile, we're going under the water and into the sand on right here. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Da, 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 Dun, 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 dun. Into the darkness. Now I see why you came down to the surface. All right, I understand you, but Charon Ramses, taking over the post of Avez, is pretty annoying. Uh, the home country might have might have had some special reasons. Yeah, obviously. But perhaps there's still a chance of success. You and I, who used to be called Elements at the Commander's Training School Jugend, are both here. You're right. By the way, she is still... According to Faye, there was a female aide on Car's si side, and he said that she had indigo blue eyes and hair, so it must be her. Mm -hmm. So all the old Elements members are on the surface world now. I guess so. Hyuga, to be honest with you, she scares me. She supports Car and is kind to anyone. I know that very well. But sometimes I've felt strange fear in her that bothers me more than Carr being in this land. That cannot be true. Not in her. Yeah, I don't want to believe it either. But don't you remember how I could always sense these things quite accurately? Right. By the way, have you told the young one yet? No, not yet. I don't want him to worry until we know exactly what Solaris' objectives really are. But I have to tell him eventually, though. Anyway, Hugo, have you gotten any information? Interesting, he has an, a, another name for Saiten. Hugo. Hugo. Ah. Not really. I left there before going into the center section. Ah, and it looks like they're being spied on. Oh, it's you, Bart. Don't scare me. Sorry, Dari. It sounds like Sig and your doctor friend know each other pretty darn well. Sig. Damn, I thought I knew everything about that guy. When, when did Doc get back? It's a very good question. Maybe you should ask him. When did the Doc get back? Doc! <laughs> Alright, so this is us landing actually in Neeson Harbor, so you can do this and 
it's kind of cool to be able to see that happen. You actually missed the the original one where where we docked at uh, Bart's hideout. Yeah. So that's, that's actually a pretty cool concept to, to have a cutscene for this. <laughs> An in-game cutscene. I'll complete the remaining checks on board. I'll leave the rest up to you, Mason. Oh, as you wish. I will have the honor of accompanying the others. It's like you got to be diplomat. Bartholomew, healthy as ever, I hope. Yeah, how's the tale? Uh, since we got word several days ago that there might be an army advancing from the royal capital, the sect's representatives have been in discussion. What have they come up with? Well, for now, they just plan to improve the local defenses. Also, anti shikan people have been gathering here, probably because they heard about what's going on. That's reassuring. Yes. However, the residents are starting to feel uneasy. People are starting to take refuge up north in the mountains. Can't blame them. By the way, how's Marguerite? Better than we thought. But I know she was in a lot of grief. Aw, and here's Margie. Marguerite, I'm so glad you're safe. Thanks. Why don't you take that one? Okay. All the townspeople are overjoyed by the Great Mother's return. I can say a lot of things about Margie, but the way she looks, Great Mother is not one of them. But yes, she actually is the Great Mother of the Neeson sect. So, yay, we have another Chrono Trigger-esque map. And this one is for the capital city of Neeson. So let's go ahead and step on into Neeson. And this is the overall Neeson theme, so get used to this. This is kind of, this is going to be hard for Alex because he's been working today, and this is a soothing tone, or yeah. soothing tune. Wow, it's been such a long time since I left here. Well, first of all, we should accompany Marguerite up to, the, up to meet the sisters. Huh? What is it? What is it, old Mason? Disgracious me! Think that little Miss Marguerite was finally able to return here? It's so awfully moving! Uh, hey, pull yourself together, old man! <laughs> Forgive me! I'm terribly embarrassing! I couldn't help it! I. I should go back and give some instructions to the men left on the ship! Please, young master, go ahead and escort Miss Marguerite up to see the sisters. Excuse me now. <laughs> People are going to get mad at me again because I make Mason out to be well a pussy. So, sorry. Okay, so now that we... We are now in Neeson, and technically you can stop off here and get uh, items. I don't think you can do anything for your gears, though. So, really quick, I'm trying to remember. This is the main meeting area. I think this is the shop. So we'll double check it really quick just to see if there's any armor. Oh, and you get these cutscenes. Hello, Grandma. Hey, aren't you the young master? Hey, hey. you. Huh? Huh? It's Bartholomew. Are you doing well? Good enough. Don't try to overdo it. Hey, are those your friends back there? Yeah, Faye and Saiten. Friends of the young master are friends of ours. Take your time and look around. I love it. it uh, eventually, everybody graduates to a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> At some point. Or, or as people pointed out, the Brookstralian accent. The Brookstralian accent. Calling back to an old video. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so we could go ahead and talk to them. Nah, and... nah, nah, nah. Come, Come on. on in, looking for items. Uh, let's check out the accessories, because items aren't necessarily a thing we need right now. Power. Uh, double support effect times and double amount of HP restore. I am not going to get any of these because they are kind of expensive for 
accessories, so... Thank you very much. You didn't spend a damn thing in my store. <laughs> Don't appreciate it. Now get out. Now get out. Get the head out of my store and come again. Uh, so let's go ahead and head over to... Ooh, baby, it is hot. Let us get out of here. Oh, I, I think I may have gone backwards. No, yeah, I did. I did. I, w I went backwards. Okay, so... <laughs> You could look the because the, the way the camera works in Xenogears, you can easily get turned around. And I know images, so. it's, it's a big issue with a lot of these early RPGs. It's why I couldn't get very far in Chrono Cross. I just couldn't put up with it. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, Bart, I'm glad you're well. The people at the hidden port contacted us just before you came into town. Let's fly a man. Whatever. I've already contacted the monastery. Please take Margie up there as soon as possible. She'll be so happy, not to mention the sisters. I must hurry and see the sisters. Let's hope okay. they're not all demons in disguise that want to eat us. No, they're, they're not. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully, they're not. They're not hiding the real princess inside the holy cathedral. Okay, so here we go and get ready for a tour because this is going to happen. We don't need the help of an anthropomorphic frog. No, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Aww. Marky! I'm gonna let you take the head nun, and really what I'm hoping for is a Mrs. Beakley, so you can't go out there! Okay. Kind of thing. Marky! I'm back, everyone. Oh, Margie! We're well, so glad you're safe! Yes, it is all thanks to Bart and his men. We just received word. So we're singing the hymn of praise and joy. Yeah, fun fact. One of the I don't know which which of the nuns it was, but one of the nuns was actually from Bledovic, and she she just barely came back to report the news that Margie had been uh, rescued. We're so happy. Oh, what a relief. So this this is the this is the one Sister Agnes. Sister so. Agnes. Welcome back, Margie. We had faith that you and your cousin Bart would one day return safely. We and your other friends have been waiting for you. Sister Agnes. Unfortunately, your mother and the blessed royal mother. I know, Sister Agnes. I heard about it at the royal capital. But at least I have, I've made it back. I'll never go anywhere or leave you from now on. I won't make you all worry anymore, ever again. Bless you, my dear. Sister Agnes, this is just, this just isn't like you at all. Here I am back, safe and sound. Can't you rebuke me just a little, for old time's sake? Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm just so happy that I cannot help but... Sister! There's no reason to be so solemnly quiet. Well, everyone, to celebrate the return of our dear sister Margie, and to express the joy of two heavens, let us finish singing our hymn. Thank you, and bless you all. Oh, yes, sister, may I go upstairs? It's been oh so long, so I want to have a look around up there, too. Oh, but of course, dear. Don't even think of holding back from anything. Except for one thing. Never stay away so long like that again. Or I will beat you senselessly! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Now, that. now that's the Agnes I know. Alright, so they're gonna go finish things. Marshy, I'm so glad. I'm still, I'm sticking with Margie, and that's just because that's how, in my opinion, Bart says it. It's been a while since the last time I was here. Huh? Something wrong, Margie? Nothing. It's just... I guess I got a little emotional. <laughs> Anyhow, take it easy for a while. 
You put up with enough, okay? If you're trying to make me cry, you'll fail. Oh, yes. I'll show Faye and Saiten around our cathedral. Follow me. Okay, so you actually get some really cool world building in the Nissan Cathedral, so uh, we're going to have some fun with this. What a strong girl she is. It is obvious that she really wants to just break down and cry. Yeah, you're right. That's just the way she's always been. For all her talk, she understands her position well. Maybe there are a few things I could learn from her too. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the tour because the tour is actually really cool world building for Nisen. Nisen's kind of its own independent religion within the world and, and there's actually a lot of lore built around it. So let's go ahead and talk to her. We go up to the gallery on the second floor from here. Yay! So we're, we're now on tour mode. So we're walking, we're walking. To the left, you'll see a wall. To the right, you'll see a wall. We're walking, we're walking. Seriously, I can't I can't make this go faster, guys. So go and talk to her. And then now we're up on the second floor. And this is actually one of one of the coolest parts to me as a Xeno Gears fan. You guys will see it in a second. How magnificent! If I were ever, if I, if we ever got scolded for pranks as kids, Bart and I used to hide here. Hey, stop telling those old stories. It's embarrassing. Sure it is, Bart. But to me, Bart hasn't changed much since then. What? You mean you think I'm still a kid? Eh. She got gotcha. you. She got gotcha, you, Bart. Okay, I can't really show because of the camera angle, but you guys will see the, the awesome moment here. I like the view from here the best. So there's a big there's a big uh, mural right here, a big uh, display here. That's some really good world building right there, guys. That's that's pretty awesome for a cathedral. Yes, this is breathtaking. Light from outside shining through the stained glass on the cathedral of the cathedral's front. What a brilliant piece of artistry this is. Did you notice that the two great angels only have one wing each? Oh, one winged angel. According to a legend hand down, handed down in Nisan, God could have created humans perfectly. But then humans would not have helped each other. So that is what these great single winged angels symbolizes. Yes, insert Sephiroth joke here. <laughs> In order to fly, they are dependent on one another. Ah, so that is the reason for it. I see. On further inspection, the left angel, the left angel looks somewhat masculine, while the right one looks somewhat feminine. Now that is an unusual feature, is it not? Usually these depictions are not gender specific, but then these angels are clearly distinguishable as having opposing genders. And the space between them is the path where God advents. Could it be the path leading to God? Well, I do not know. It could be either, or, or even both. Now I see! This is all coinciding with the teachings of Neeson. No. <laughs> Why, Dr. Saiten Uzuki, you are an amusing fellow. Oh, oh, excuse me. It is a habit of mine. The doc knows a lot about a lot of things. Sometimes I can't even understand what he's talking about. That's okay. Nobody does. But I know he's the doc. <laughs> You're doc! The doc. You're the Doc Doc. Ha! Wasn't them to fly together? It would be less bothersome if they could just fly on their own, don't you think, Faye? And you missed the point, Bart. How Joey Wheeler of you. Bart, Bart you missed <laughs> the deeper meaning and beauty of it. Bart! <laughs> yep. Someday I, I wish I could be of help to someone like that. 
Oh, we haven't visited the room of Sophia yet, have we? You're really supposed to go through some procedures before you can see it, but this time I think it'll be alright if I make a special exception. Sophia? Yes, uh, Sophia. She is revered as the founding mother of the Nisan nation, and the founder of the Nisan religion who set forth its teachings. There is a special room upstairs that has a portrait of Mother Sophia in it. I would definitely like to view that. Fade, let us go have a look at it. Well, you're the doc, doc. Damn right. Now let's go look at this thing. It's just a painting, but why not? You're the artist here. You should be way more interested than you currently are. <laughs> Well, remember, like, when we started up the game, Faye was painting. So. Oh, that's true. And this actually is a character trait, so. And we're walking and walking, walking and, and to walk. the left you see a wall, and to the right you see a wall, and walking and walking, and we're apparently not following Margie anymore. Now we're walking, <laughs> we're walking. <sighs> so many stairs. Do, do these stairs ever end? I think we're you know, in the son, this is a stairway somewhere. to heaven. Okay, so first we gotta talk to her. It's farther on in. Is it now? I really thought this door was it. Okay, so this is actually a really cool lore moment. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, first of all, does that look familiar? Yeah, kinda. I. We've actually seen that design before. Oh my. What an exquisite portrait. And the beautiful young lady portrayed is quite beyond comparison, too. What is more, this looks rather familiar. What do you think, Faye? Yes, I was just thinking the same thing. The hair is different, is a different color, but the atmosphere... Or the personality about her is exactly the same. What? Hair color? What do you mean? What do I mean? Look! It's the girl that I met in the forest. It's Ellie! I mean, there's something about her that's just like Ellie. You don't think so? Yes, now that you mentioned it, she does resemble Ellie. But that is not what I was talking about. I meant that the brush techniques and overall style used in this picture are similar to yours. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun! Really? And here you go. So wow. yeah, that does look strikingly Ooh, familiar. Pretty. It's actually one of the best pieces of art for this game, in my opinion. Does it? Now remember, now, in particular, Alex, she's wearing something we've seen before. Mm -hmm. And the window is the exact same design. Yes. So. Interesting. What a twist. What a twist. First of all, I'm nowhere near as good as an as an artist. No, it, it is very similar to your style. But somehow I can sense an atmosphere of sadness in this picture. She's smiling, but in a way gives the impression that she is anxious. Perhaps the picture is reflecting her inner self? Curious. Or perhaps it is the inner feelings of the artist being conveyed. Ah, if you look closely, you will notice that the painting is not completely finished. There's a little corner that's not finished. <laughs> the artist put his brushes down when there was near completion. is that? I don't know. But my grandmother might have known about it. Oh, what if we ask Agnes? She may know something. Alright, so I'm just gonna... 
again point this out so the design on the on the window is the same as the pendant and if people don't recognize the pendant remember when they snapped and blew up lahan what yeah. was showcasing during that <laughs> almost like a pendulum oh well, yeah that pendant so it, very interesting that sophia has that pendant and well i mean we blew up lahan so obviously that pendant's not a good thing at least not to Faye. All right, then. I'll be with Cigna Sister Agnes. Well, shall we head back to town for now? Oh, yes. All right. Uh, but this painting has caught my curiosity. Do you mind if I speak to Sister Agnes before we head back to town? Yeah, okay. We'll stop by a room on the way out. <laughs> 